Okay, so if we open layout, we're presented with this option to select a template. For this, it doesn't really matter which one. Let's choose an A3 landscape template, this will do. We can now bring in the SketchUp model that we've been working on. To do this, go to File, Insert, and then select the SketchUp model we want to use. Alternatively, if we were in SketchUp, here's our model, we could go to File, Center Layout, and that would have the same effect. Okay. We'll see here that layout has automatically generated a viewport. And this viewport is the last saved view that we had in our SketchUp model. If we go over here to the SketchUp model tray, you'll see under the scenes drop down, we now can choose between any of the scenes that we created in our SketchUp model for this viewport. We can also set the scale. And then we can resize the viewport. You'll also notice that preserve scale on resize is ticked. This means that we can crop the viewport down however we like without affecting the scale of the drawing that we're working on. Up here we can also change the styles that we apply to this viewport and the line weight ratio. But I tend not to touch this in layout. I prefer to get everything right in SketchUp. It just makes things much simpler and easier. Okay, let's get started with the floor plans. I've got an A3 template open here and it comes with a few example pages. I don't really need those. So let's delete them and let's rename this one ground floor plan. I also, before I start, want to put this viewport on its own layer so that I can control the visibility later on. To do that, the method is much the same as in SketchUp. If we go to the layers tray and click on the plus symbol, we can create a new layer and let's call that viewports. To put the viewport on that layer, with it selected, we right click, move to layer, viewports. A quick tip here while we're looking at layers. You'll notice alongside these layers, there's a symbol of a single page or a multiple page and these toggle on and off when you click on them. What this means is if we have the single page, the entity on that layer is only visible on that one page. But with the multiple pages, you'll see it's visible on every page. So for example, this title block here, is on every page. Now, this is really useful when you have a lot of repetitive elements like title blocks or notes. If I create a new page, you'll see the title block is automatically on there. Also, if I change my viewports layer to every page and then go to our new page, there it is. If I go back and change it back, keep contents on this page only, yes, it's now gone again. 